Bean to Bar and Single Origin Chocolate have gained huge popularity with chocolate connoisseurs around the world. Often associated with high quality fine chocolate, Bean to Bar chocolate production requires the chocolate makers to be involved in the process from as early as fermenting and drying the cocoa beans, while Single Origin Chocolate uses cocoa beans all grown on the same estate. We spoke to chocolate makers about their experience in making bean to bar chocolate and its implications for the chocolate industry. There's a lot of talk of places like the sort of Ivory Coast and there's a lot of worry about where chocolate comes from but that's why it's so worth people to ask and be able to have something like the Grenada and Chocolate Company and actually go, well, where's this chocolate from? Well, it, it's from Grenada, it's the Grenada and Chocolate Company. And on the Gruga Coco, our bar that's going to be launched, we actually even like to do things like put actually the longitude and latitude on the bar. So actually, in the sort of age of Google Earth, you should be able to actually go, where's my chocolate from? Right, I'm going to see, and you can see how they're doing, and that's a wonderful thing. We realised that people needed to know more about the chocolate we were making and about why um, you know about why why you pay more for premium chocolate so to understand that we needed to understand more about making cocoa and we wanted our customers to understand more about making cocoa so we grow cocoa in St Lucia and we supply the person that's going to eat the cocoa let's say right here in London right now with our chocolate I think it's really important for sort of traceability that people, people are very sort of concerned about fair trade and that sort of thing. Before Dwayne Dove and Tobago Cocoa Estate was established as a, as a business, as an, as, a, as an enterprise, there was cocoa farming on Tobago but these farmers were farming um, cocoa and then just simply selling it, selling their beans on to middlemen. So this way the, um, the people that are involved in the process can see it through the whole, you know, the whole process, and then even to the stage where the money, you know, the the investment is coming back all the all the way through the chain is one thing, and also the guys in Tobago see the final result. We've got and we will have a global shortage of chocolate and that's because it's very difficult to um, encourage cocoa farming. This is on a global scale. So yes, you know, there's definitely going to be an increased demand for chocolate and it's a natural progression that people will be much more interested in high-end chocolate. Because if you're going to have a limited supply of it, then you may as well buy the best chocolate that you can.